Anything? Any doubts, team? Here. So this is a single bus bar scheme. This is the single bus with sectionalizer scheme. This is the double with bus coupler scheme. This is the double breaker scheme, uh, like similar to the one and a half breaker scheme. It is rarely used one. This is the one and a half breaker scheme. This is the double bus, uh, bus system with bypass isolator. Other scheme, which is also very very used one. And this is a ring main scheme. So any doubt, stream? On the bus bar. All. Is it clear to all? Yes. Uh, yeah, please. You, please, you Ashwin. mentioned you, you mentioned about the standards. Uh, uh, is it defined as an international standard where we can uh, no, 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 see the no. rating to the design? No. No, no. So internationally, uh, they are only talking about the reliability perspective. Like for mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, as for the guidelines of IEEE 493, which we will discuss yes. in our coming classes. So based on that, so what is the uh, reliable choice for your system? Uh, could mm -hmm. be a which bus, like maybe ring bind bus or double bus, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever it may be. So go ahead with that. Uh, take a, that as an uh, option. Uh, coming to the Indian, uh, but I am not aware of that rot, uh, maybe how the utilities are there. Coming to Indian projects, we are having some utilities to monitor all these things. Suppose if you are doing the project in one area, so you have to, uh, uh, you have to get, uh, you have to get approvals from them. So yes. what they're insisting is to uh, have a double bus bar uh, scheme for 220 kV. Single bus with a sectional scheme for 33 kV. And 400 kV, they are asking us to uh, keep one and a breaker scheme. So their standard is there. But slowly now they are also changing uh, because of the tariff issue. Now the demand is uh, not more than the supply. Before the demand is very high, the electrical power demand is very high in India. Now, due to the uh, all uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, coming of these uh, developers, so all uh, so many so much of wind and solar generation was happened in the India. So now the tariffs are very very low, like one and a half rupee, two rupees only the tariffs, and they are very much in Indian government or is very much interested into develop the uh, battery or any uh, energy storage projects. To, uh, as a sub substitute for the uh, thermal and uh, nuclear projects. See, wind and solar projects generally, it's not only in India, abroad, in the globally also, mostly they are focusing on this. At present, <clears throat> at present scenario, uh, uh, the wind and the solar projects, you cannot expect the, this is the wind uh, you will get in today or tomorrow, right? Solar is also mm -hmm. only at 12 hours. You cannot uh, get the solar power in the next 12 hours after the 6 p.m. Uh, evening. So, what? So most of the cases, all the system uh, uh, stability and uh, the power. So uh, for the households or the industries, most of the power is coming. Even now, they are coming from the uh, hydro or the thermal only, thermal and nuclear only. Now, our intention is due to the abundance on this, in this coal, uh, scarcity of the coal, uh, they want to substitute some projects uh, to this uh, thermal projects. So what they are doing, they are coming with a solution of uh, energy storage projects. Like they, they will uh, generate the power during the day, the solar generation or wind generation. They are uh, at that some at some time. Suppose they are generating 200 megawatt of power, and if the demand is uh, at that point of time is only 10 megawatt, they are sending 10 megawatt to the grid, and remaining 190 megawatt of power they are sending uh, for a storage. Like could be a battery storage or creating now a special uh, kind of projects are come come up. Like they are creating an artificial hydro, like a. <clears throat> Uh, like a pumped storage. What they are doing, they are uh, taking some hilly area and they are creating some lower reservoir here and an upper reservoir. They are, they are creating artificially. 
and in the morning times from the solar generation they are taking the water from lo uh, lower reservoir to the upper reservoir and during the night times when the solar is not there they are sending this power uh, from the upper reservoir to lower reservoir they are generating the power through hydro, hydro. what my point yes sir yes this is also one of the project uh, by uh, coming up so this um, could be a battery storage or flywheel uh, so these are the different different products which are coming uh, in the future to as a substitute for the thermal and for this the tariff is high good and in normal conventional wind and solar the tariff is very very low so present the governments also uh, decided to uh, take a call back on this uh, bus bus schemes if you feel that this is not not a uh, for for your system if it is uh, for 220 kv uh, double bus bar configuration is not best is not choice then go ahead with a single bus bus scheme now the government is also not uh, insisting used to keep only double bus bar configuration for 220 kv but they are penalizing you when there is a uh, shutdown of power at your end so you have to maintain that reliability got my point so what yes. about the design you can do in the in your substation but if i ask you ashwin you have to send uh, daily from uh, 2 megawatt of power due, uh, from morning 9 10 am to 11 am this is my requirement you have to send that power to me as per agreement otherwise i will give it, i will do i will penalize you so whether you are adopting double bus bar whether you are adopting single bus bar that comes uh, uh it's it's your choice yeah hope it's clear yes oh. so in a 200 and why we are uh, taking 200 to 100 mega right because this is not a source ex right source this is a wind maybe uh, this transformer is failed but whole the generation will not be 100 mega in the, that is will be the very very rare cases the wind generally from jan to december the peak season you can see from june july august here you can see 80% of the power means 160 megawatt you can see on average daily in all the cases remaining october november you can see only 8% like uh, only 16 megawatt of power out of 200 so this 16 megawatt can be uh, get from out of all this 100 machines right you cannot know maybe these are the turbines which are in this direction these are the turbines maybe the wind is flowing in this direction so these turbines will generate the power at the same time if my this transformer is failed this transformer is failed so i have to send that power to the this i should not lose so that is the case in the wind got my point yeah yeah I means the condition is at the time my power, my plant load will be not uh, not more than that my transformer load yes, in sir. single transformer yes if it is more then automatically these breakers will be the transformer breaker will be open on the overload condition that already yes. we have to say yes yes